Okay, so this video will show you how to install the Supernova MIDI device panel I've programmed for Cubase. The important thing to note is your Supernova needs to be on channels 9 through to 16 for it to work. Uh, my Supernova is an original Supernova, uh, Supernova 1 I guess, running uh, OS 4.1. Okay, so we're in Cubase 7.5. Um, I originally programmed the MIDI device for SX3. I'll give you a quick rundown of how to install it. Uh, normally you would add a MIDI track and select, these are my MIDI instruments which my computer has already set up with my MIDI interface to see. So my Supernova is always on channels 9 to 16. Okay, so I'm just playing the Supernova and your normal uh, editor is here, which is you can see where it says open device panels. That is blacked out because there's no device panel available for it as a straightforward MIDI track. Uh, so you need to go to devices and you need to go to MIDI device manager. Um, import setup, it's not install device, it's import setup, which is quite important. Uh, and the file is this one, SNOVA device XML, which is the file I programmed. So it'll come up as supernova device, so OK that, and then assign it. So I'll make sure it's assigned to the supernova, which is the output. It depends whatever you've called your supernova in, in Cubase or on your computer. Uh, that's it, basically. So you do that, and then this time, as well as having your normal MIDI instruments, you've also got supernova device. Click on that. And now this panel here is now grey, so you can select it. If you go to channel 8, it'll be black again. It has to be channel 9 to 16. Click on that, and that's the actual device. So now you can tweak away. With the controls on screen here. And the great thing is, is that you can actually record any changes you make. Oh, lost it. There it is. Um, with the write and read automation button. So if I click on write automation, straight away you get a MIDI device automation channel lane coming up on your sequence. So if I record a part now, let's turn the click off, okay, make some changes. Okay, go back and play the part back, you'll see the changes happening. just as I played them basically and then you can hear that for instance was the filter cutoff frequency changes I just made so now you can fine tune those uh, just switch off the snap you can you can actually edit the changes you've made and that will now still correspond when you go back to the edit page itself those changes will still correspond to those on the screen there Okay, so you get the idea. So that's it really, really simple. Uh, my email address is now on the screen. Uh, it's $15 for your copy. Just send me an email and I can send an email back with the file attached. It's a, quite a small file to import. I um, uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot.